You know, it was just uh, a few years ago, 2010 to be exact, that President Obama stood here in the Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building and committed us to a journey to Mars, beginning with an unprecedented mission to send astronauts to an asteroid as part of a stepping stone approach to reach the Red Planet. Thanks to the hard work of our NASA team and the work of our contractor, academic, and entrepreneurial partners all across America, we've made a lot of progress on that journey. This includes progress in integrating all of our work in a structured roadmap that is leading us to breakthroughs in new advanced technologies, driving us to new destinations, and generating the inspiration on which future generations will thrive. Just behind me, and Bob has already pointed them out, are some tangible examples of our progress. And that, um, for those of you sitting here in the audience, I think you can feel it. For those who are looking on, hopefully the cameras are good enough that you can sense it. Because it's really important that you recognize that um, these vehicles, they're not things on paper anymore. These is, this is tangible evidence of all the work that you all have been doing for a number of years now. The Orion spacecraft, which recently performed a near-flawless flight test on its first journey to space, is being taken apart right now so it can reveal its secrets about that amazing flight. And I, I am thankful to the crew working Orion all the Lockheed Martin folk and everybody else who uh, managed to stick enough of it back together so we could have it here with us. Uh, but for people who may not work down here, um, I recognize the fact that it was really taken apart uh, and then put back together so we could have it here, and that's, that's really important. What we learn will prepare us for its next launch aboard our Space Launch System rocket, or the SLS, and its future with astronauts aboard exploring farther into our solar system than ever before. Thanks to the grit, determination, and American ingenuity, we've returned cargo resupply missions to the United States, insourcing these jobs and creating a whole new private market in low Earth orbit. Now, U.S. companies, large and small, are developing the new systems in which our astronauts soon will travel from right here on the Space Coast in Florida to low Earth orbit. This initiative, where we hand off low Earth orbit transportation to the private sector, is absolutely critical to our journey to Mars. Absolutely critical to the journey to Mars. The Boeing CST-100 mock-up behind me is representative of the flight vehicle that is a prime example of how American aerospace industry is rising to the challenge of increasing crew safety, while bringing down the cost of space travel. The CST-100's well-less structure is innovative engineering that makes the spacecraft reusable up to 10 times. This pressure dome has no wells, which allows for a short turnaround time between flights, increases simplicity of production, and drives down costs. SpaceX also is working on a Crew Dragon to complement the successful cargo capsule that has now been regularly delivering cargo and science experiments to the International Space Station for more than two years. The Dragon cargo module behind me flew SpaceX's first mission to the ISS, becoming the first, the first spacecraft produced by a private entity to be launched into space rendezvous with and be berthed to an orbiting outpost, and most importantly, to deorbit and land intact back here on Earth. That spacecraft. A version of the Crew Dragon is being prepped for shipment and is set to arrive just down the road at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in the next couple weeks for an upcoming pad abort test flight. Both SpaceX and Boeing have set up operations here on the Space Coast bringing jobs, energy, and excitement about the future with them. To further advance these plans and keep, moving, keep us moving on forward to our, in our journey to Mars, President Obama today is proposing an FY 2016 budget 
of $18.5 billion for NASA. $18.5 billion for us, building on the significant investments the administration has made in America's space program over the last six years. That's half billion dollar increased over last year's enacted budget, the enacted budget, half billion dollars over last year's enacted budget. And it's a clear vote of confidence to you, the employees of NASA, and the ambitious exploration program you're executing. 